I think jihad itself, we've heard scholarly di discussion here about the historical perspective. We've also heard about the true definitions of jihad, the concept of jihad. Um, you know, in the modern age, some issues are raised around this whole issue of suicide bombings and its erroneous relationship with uh, Islam. Dr. Zaid, just very briefly, if you could just touch on that subject, because it seems to be dominating headlines everywhere, does it not? Whether, you know, it was the tragic events sure. in New York, or yeah. indeed more local to us here a couple of years back, a few Unfor years back. Unfortunately, whenever we switch the television on and there it's has a, been a suicide yeah. bombing, we, we, we yeah. know for sure that the name of Islam will be linked into that, unfortunately, yeah. as it is, because as we have seen, there is no basis uh, for such actions in Islam. There are two things that we need to uh, be clear about, is uh, does Islam condone such actions? And uh, if, uh, if not, then why is it still being linked to Islam? Uh, from an Islamic viewpoint, we know that uh, Islam does not permit one to take the life of another unjustly. And if so, it is said I mean, to that's be... That's absolutely clear. That's it's absolutely unequivocal. clear, unequivocal. Yeah. There is no yeah. exceptions to, mm. that, to that. And it is said by the Holy Prophet ﷺ as if you have killed the whole of mankind. Indeed. So that is how great and how severe it is thought that if you unjustly kill anyone, then it is as if you have killed the whole of humanity. So if that is the foundation and the basis of what the Prophet ﷺ taught us, yeah. then there can be no, ju no justice um, or foundation for someone putting on a rucksack full of explosives and detonating it where scores, hundreds of people are innocently killed. So therefore it is a great injustice to say that that is a form of suicide bombing and that is linked to Islam. It's often said that it is, this is Islamic terrorism. And it is unfortunate that the West have coined up this phrase as well because uh, that gives a very negative picture of the beautiful I mean, face of sorry Islam. To, by its criminal action, is it not? I think this erroneous link that, you know, whether it's the media or others who make that Islam is, you know, somehow complimenting, commending this action, it's far from the truth. I mean, these, as far as I certainly see it, it's, it's criminal actions, and those people are crim uh, committing criminal acts. There's no justification, there's no place for it in Islam, with noble religion or indeed any religion. Any, or any other religion, absolutely. Yes. I think uh, during the course of this discussion you have used the word uh, uh, suicide bombing. Yes. I think that needs a bit uh, for more clarification. Mm -hmm. You have rightly pointed out that killing other people unjustly, that is totally forbidden and disapproved in the teachings of Islam. At the same time, taking your own life is also a big crime in Islam. Mm -hmm. It is not approved. Nobody is allowed to take one's own life. People may say erroneously, that well it is my life, I mm -hmm. can take it. Actually if we are the trustees of life, we are not the owners of the life. The life is given by God, and take he it. has the right to mm -hmm. give the life and whenever he gives, mm -hmm. and he has the right to take it back whenever he wants to take it. We are not allowed to take our own life. So the one which is described as suicide bombing, actually to my mind they are committing double crime. It's first, yes, yes, itself, first yes. they take their own life, mm -hmm. and through that they take the lives of other people. So killing innocent people is a big crime. Taking your own life is also a big crime. And suicide bomber is the one who does two crimes at the same time. We say our religion is Islam, and Islam means peace. And a Muslim is a person who uh, is a peaceful person. He declares himself yeah. that I am a peaceful person. What if person. a religion is defined so, by peace? So, so yeah. after saying that I am a peaceful person, then you go for suicide yeah. and bombing or killing people. How you can justify it? Mm -hmm. You see, last week, Hazrat Tamil Muminin, Allah Ta'ala bin Saji, spoke on the 13 qualities of uh, the Ibadur Rahman, which, mm -hmm. is, uh, which means the servants of the gracious God. Uh, that was, you know, his uh, Friday sermon. Haskhiftar Masil, Khami Sayyid Allah Ta'ala bin Saji. In that, you know, among the 13 qualities of this uh, servants of the gracious God, one of them is La yaktuluna nafsallati haram allahu That they do not kill any soul or any person uh, whose killing has been made uh, forbidden by Allah the Almighty. So if anybody does that, he cannot be a servant, uh, uh, in fact, a, a true believer, according to these verses of the Holy Quran. Another thing is that the Holy Prophet ﷺ said that if somebody kills himself, he commits suicide, you should not perform his funeral prayer. 
so much is it is rejected by the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so after this that how anybody any muslim there, there is that can down no room for debate and uh, i would say to uh, Bilal Aslam Saab from Lahore, Pakistan. I think uh, just in the answers that Imam Saab and Bajwa Saab have given, and indeed Dog Saab just now, we've answered your basic premise of your question. What, what is the Islamic position on suicide bombings? I think it's quite clear from that. If I could uh, once again remind viewers, this is a program for you. You make this program what it is. It's around faith, the questions you want to ask, our scholars here in the studio about what matters to you and does faith matter.